afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ashmita. On behalf of Tata Motors, JM Automotors, and the JTSP team here, I welcome the media friends, the JTSP board members, the executive committee members of Tata Motors, and prominent industrialists from Coimbatore. Welcome. Tata Motors has been making huge strides in the automotive industry for some time now. We've been keeping the market busy with a lot of buzz. And the festive cheer has just begun as we've launched so many products back to back. And today, here we are with yet another launch. But today is not about Tata Motors. Today is about celebrating our partnership with JM Automotives as we launch the brand JTB. And to know more about this brand launch, I now invite our CEO and Managing Director for Tata Motors, Mr. Gunter Butcher. So can we have you here, please? Thanks, uh, Ashmita, to welcoming me on the stage in front of an audience to which I got pretty used in the meanwhile, not because of the last two and a half years, more because of the last four weeks. So a good afternoon, media friends. It feels great to meet uh, all of you in the serene city of Coimbatore. Since we have been, as already mentioned, keeping you quite busy for the last couple of weeks and months, I know, we really thank you for making time and visiting us here for yet another important launch. The auto industry is transforming faster than ever, with mass customization emerging as one of the major trends. We are seeing an increasing preference from our unique set of customers for high performance cars. To capture the aspirations of these customers, we had to bring a strong technology partner on board. Therefore, in March 2017, we announced our partnership with JM. We launched JT Special Vehicles PVT Limited, a 50-50 joint venture company between Tata Motors and JM Automotives PVT Limited. JM is a well-known brand for its capabilities in concept creation and prototyping of special performance vehicles. I'm delighted to share with you that today we celebrate the first milestone of GTSV, the launch of the JTP brand. The JTSV brand purpose is to develop and market special performance vehicles to bring back the joy of motoring. The joy of motoring preferably not only out of the cities, preferably also in the cities. Our focus would be to reach out to the customers who are young at heart and have a hidden streak for adventure. For the ones who are differentiated, ones who have the need for speed and are driven by sporty design. In alignment with our PV business strategy, these special performance vehicles will augment our latest product range, also creating a halo effect on the Tata Motors brand. We want to target wide spaces and increase our addressable market. Today, we would unveil two of the first products from JTSV, Tiago and Tigor JTP, representing bold and sporty design, exciting performance, tuned for precision and absolute safety. To share more on the products, I invite Vivek uh, on stage, who is deep in the product uh, as such and has the right argument to sell these products to you. Having said that, Vivek, all over to you. Thank you, thank you for the uh, rather large introduction, Gunther. Uh, and welcome again to friends from the media for, for this rather special uh, launch that we have. Uh, we believe, fr from Tata Motors, we believe that it's the right time for us to get into this white space, but it's an extremely special white space. Uh, why do we believe it's the right time? Because we believe the momentum is with us at Tata Motors. Uh, consistently, for the last 10 quarters, we've outpaced the market. We've delivered year-on-year -year growth every quarter. Uh, in the last 10 quarters. Uh, in terms of market share, in the last three years, we've gained two percentage points 
in an extremely competitive market where people are struggling to even retain their market shares. So not only volume and market share, what's really heartening for us is that our brand image is changing, the way customers perceive us are changing. We have an internal parameter called net promoter score. Uh, to, uh, to explain it simply, it is how many customers are our brand ambassadors, how many customers promote Tata Motors. So a few years back, it was actually in the negative. But wave upon wave, we've actually uh, converted into positive and consistently grown to a strong positive figure now. So it's safe to say that we have the momentum with us. The growth is on our side, the volume growth is on our side, the market share growth is on our side, and as well as customer perception. It wouldn't be wrong to say that a large share of this growth is due to the firework of launches. We like to call it the firework of launches, based on the impact design philosophy, which began in April 2016 and have continued since then. However, when we speak about launches, this festival season, we have taken launch cadence to a completely different level. In just 51 days, we've had four very strong product interventions. It began on the 5th of September with the athletic Nexon craze. We followed it by on 12th of September with the outdoor sea Tiago Energy. We launched the sedan for the stars on the 10th of October. And today we are here ready to get into the white space of accessible performance motoring. What is also changing for Tata Motors is the kind of customers that we are welcoming into our showrooms, the kind of customers who are considering our products. Today, uh, our customers with high, how, uh, high monthly income are more than doubled in the last two years. 90% of our buyers buy the cars for personal use against the popular perception. But most importantly, across our social media platforms, you will see customers pouring out their love for our products. And this is what we are very, very happy about. You can see some of the images behind me. These are all customer-generated images. They love their car, so they involve the car in their lives and share openly how much they love their Tata Motors product. So this has really given us uh, a huge amount of confidence. But last but not the least, across all our, trim, uh, across all our products, the top trim level has the maximum demand. So customers are telling us clearly, give us more. And that is why we think it's the right time to get into this white space. But why JTP? Why performance motoring? We could have gone into many other areas. Uh, we believe that automotive purchase, especially car purchase process, is getting highly commoditized. It's becoming monotonous, regimented, very, very functional, and it lacks the thrill and romance of car driving, which is actually very bad, not only for Tata Motors, but for the entire industry. It's an uh, industry which is associated with passion and thrill, but we are reducing it to commoditization. And that is why we think it's the right time for JTP. So the sim simple vision for brand JTP is to bring back the joy of motoring. We call it the reverse commoditization of car purchase. Inject more passion, inject more fun into, into car driving. And we want to build everyday cars which we can drive to the mall and back to work, but also which gives us the passion uh, and the thrill of, of the accelerator pedal. We believe there's a huge uh, set of Indian car buyers, in fact, an entire generation of car buyers in India who have not experienced the thrill of the accelerator pedal. And that is something we want to really get back. And you can see, uh, we, ho we hope that roads become as welcoming as the images behind me. Now, why JTC, JTSV? Gunther already spoke about the huge uh, benefit that this joint venture brings on the table. So we have greater flexibility, faster development time, synergy between the processes and infrastructure that Tata Motors has, including its uh, sales network, the manufacturing processes. Uh, JM brings in a great level of, uh, a great speed of development uh, and design. But however, the most important thing that we have now is access to probably the best uh, motor racing talent the country has ever produced. We have Anand, uh, who's a noted F3 champion, but he's also on the board of JTSV. We have access to Narayan Karthikin, and we, had, we have Arjun Balu uh, as well here, national rallying champion. So I think this is what is going to really create the edge. From yesterday, a lot of people have been asking us, what is the difference between the approach of other manufacturers and 
JTP, I believe fundamentally this is going to be the difference where the cars are going to be developed by the you know, genuine racers and these interlaced with our normal road going products will absolutely deliver unparalleled thrill of motoring. Now, uh, the question is what constitutes a JTP product? And when we get into performance motoring, many people get very excited and giving all kinds of uh, inputs, all kinds of suggestions, and it's very easy to get lost. Very early into the project, we decided that we have to create a very simple and clear structure. Every product that will have the JTP logo on it will have three pillars. It has to have sporty exterior and interior, and interior design, both external and internal, to make the car look absolutely fast and sporty. Enhance engine output and performance. You, we have to work on the engine to make it deliver more power and make it deliver more thrill. And lastly, but most importantly, improving, improved driving dynamics. We will work on the suspension to make the car more fun to drive, to do justice to the sporty engine that it has, and also work on the sound. So these three pillars will be paramount to every JTP product. With that, to speak about the first pillar, sporty interior and exterior design, and how impact design has evolved to JTP, pleasure to call on Pratap. Is this on? So, uh, I hope my Bengali accent doesn't spoil this. Vanakkam Kovai, I think. Uh, <laughs> thank you. So, I tried to, uh, you know, improvise a little. So, Vanakkam Kovai, thank you for joining us today. Um, you know, I strongly believe that design should truly reflect performance or technology in any product. You should see something and immediately understand what it does. You know, that's what we call form follows function. So when we got a chance to work on the, the JTP products, it's like a dream come true for a designer. I remember on 27th August 2017, when we were visiting Anand and this was a, you know, sort of a, a seed of an idea. He took me and a colleague of mine to Ente Keralam. Ente Keralam. Uh, which is a restaurant not far from here. And on the, on the place mat, we actually drew this logo from a track. So from drawing that on a, on a pa paper mat to the two products that you see here today has been an exhilarating journey. It's taken us about you know, 14 odd months. Uh, but I cannot tell you how exciting it is to, to uh, sort of show you these today. So I won't bore you with too much on design, but you all know impact design. Now, with impact design, we launched, of course, we designed the Tiago, Teague, or Hexa, Nexon. So when the challenge comes to make something even more impactful, uh, you know, you wonder how you're going to do it. So when I visited Anand, like I said, in, in August, he made me drive the car. Uh, you know, he had a sort of prototype version of it. First, he drove it. Myself, on one of the highways, uh, really made me understand what, this car is truly about, you know, Vivek spoke about the sound, the performance. So when we started working on the design, it was very clear how we would approach this. One is that it had to follow the impact design philosophy under which the basic car itself, uh, the Tiago and the Tigor were created. But when we went back to the design team, they also very instinctively made these first set of sketches. I don't want to block the view, actually. And you can see already the kind of image that, that they had in mind. It also, this, this color red, black, very bold. And very quickly, we sort of uh, understood that this car should no, not look like an accessorized aftermarket version. It has to feel that it comes from an OEM or an OEM uh, venture. So, you know, we had just formed JTSV. It was very important to make this car look like it comes from a, a serious, uh, you know, proper car company and not an aftermarket modification. That was one of the big differences. We also worked, of course, on Tiago and Tigor together. This again was important. We wanted to launch this as a, as a set, as a pair. Uh, a lot of people don't instinctively think about a compact sedan or a sedan as a 
sporty car, but we took that challenge and said, yes, there will be people in the market who will want a sport sedan. So that was one of the decisions that was taken. After that, of course, you know, many themes explored. Uh, the car had to look different from the base product because it's, the performance is so exhilarating. Bigger wheels, uh, you know, the kind of grunt it has, but still not aggressive. It still has to feel that, you know, it's, it's got a sense of humanity in the performance. So we went through a lot of sketches, a lot of different, Anand can tell you, we went back and forth with their design team as well. We are a small design team in JTSV, who I should acknowledge, we worked, Tata Motors and the JTSV design team, uh, together to create, uh, you know, what, what became a really exciting product. And uh, as you can see, you know, like I said, it's a designer's dream. Bigger wheels, lower ride height, a nice track, uh, a nice sporty bumper. And very soon, the, the two JTP twins uh, were born on paper. But of course, the journey from sheet of paper to sheet metal is always a long one, very exciting one. Uh, we went through a lot of decision-making processes. And then finally, you know, produce the cars that you will see in a, in a little bit. So I won't go through all the features, of course, but again, I started with the statement that design should, should actually reflect what the car does. Uh, so if I ask you all, do you think, without driving the car, do you think this car performs? Yes? Yes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Vivek, <laughs> for saving me. <laughs> I mean, uh, Gunter started off by saying Coimbatore is a very serene city. <laughs> but the best drivers come from here. So, uh, so yeah, so the, you know, the car uh, immediately talks about sort of dynamism, stance, uh, proportion. We've given it a lot of uh, thought, every little piece or, or bit of design you see on the car uh, to really create what I call two stunning beauties. We never leave out the interior. You, s you get always attracted by an exterior but the interior is the one which actually you spend the time in a car in. So this was also given a lot of thought, the materials, the colors. Uh, in fact, we've got a complete uh, dark roof uh, treatment. All the pillars are, are black as well. This is not in the base car, for example. So all the efforts that the team took to, to realize this is very, very significant. Uh, these are small things, but they go a long way in creating this interior where, where you feel, uh, you know, you're really in one of these race cars that Anand has just stepped out of, hopefully with me intact. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the car. Those are the, the two. I think to explain some further details, I'm going to hand over to the CEO of uh, JTSV, Mr. Nagbushan, who will take you through the second pillar that we spoke about. So, Nagu, please. Am I audible? Yeah. So, the, I'm not here in the role of a CEO. I'm here as the engineer who participated in the development of these two fine products. And the job of an engineer is very difficult one to interpret the language of the market here and then be true to the form of the designer who has created these images for us. So Pratap has actually explained to you what the car looks like. I think what I'm going to talk about is what it feels like and what has actually gone into the heart and soul of creating this fine, these two fine products. So the heart is in the engine. It's the well-proven 1.2 liter turbocharged new generation Revotron engine, which has uh, been the mainstay of the Tata Motor products of late, and it's one of the latest platform of engines that we have developed. So we have taken that platform to the next level by optimizing the fuel map, tuning it for the wall timing, especially designing the air intake system, which has a signature of Mr. J. Anand in terms of how it sounds, how it breathes, and then it comes to the 
calibration, which is again the heart of the engine in terms of how it performs through the torque band, through the uh, RPM band, and through the gears. And of course, the exhaust system. That's the signature note of any sport car. It's an unmistakable part of the car that everyone would want to have. When you crank it, you want to hear it purring, and you want the neighbors to be envious of the sound that they are hearing. And when you actually put the pedal to metal, the roar of the engine is the one that gives you the thrill, the adrenaline, and the joy of driving. So these are all the aspects of the powertrain which have been worked on by a team of engineers very closely between JM, uh, JM Automotive and Tata Motors. Uh, we have uh, collaborated on every aspect, including emission controls, including regulatory controls, and meeting all the performance targets. And of course, last but not the least, the gearbox is a very important part of a uh, uh, of the powertrain of a sports car. This again has been tuned to give the right feel of smooth acceleration through the gears right from standstill to 100 in a matter of 10 seconds. Coming to the next important aspect of a sports car is the dynamics. How does the car feel in the hands of the driver? How is the man-machine interface integrated, which connects the steering wheel to the road, to the, uh, through the uh, tires and the uh, uh, steering system? So starting with the most important part of the uh, car is the uh, suspension, which has got dual path struts, which gives you a very fine ride on rough roads of the Indian road conditions that we have. But at the same time, when you push the car around the corners, it gives you a fantastic handling and control, which makes you again enjoy the thrill of driving at fast speeds. Uh, because we had bigger wheels, the height of the car went up, and we had to control the height and make it sportier. So we have worked on the uh, suspension and the uh, uh, mechanisms to be able to maintain the ride height, to have the right ground clearance to tackle all the road uh, normal road operations that we have. And as I mentioned, the exhaust sound and signature actually comes from the twin barrel exhaust that we have on these cars, which not only give you a different look from outside, but they also feel different when, uh, when the engine is uh, firing. A very nice uh, ornamental thing that looks like a vent on top of the hood and on the side of the fenders are actually very important functional parts of the car which allows the heat buildup. You're putting 30-40% more heat under the hood. You need the ventilation in the car and therefore these function as ventilators for the car. Coming to safety, when you're driving a fast car you want to be safe. You want to be protected and therefore these cars come factory fitted with an ABS system with EBD and coronal stability control, which is a, a state-of-the-art standard for safety, for active uh, uh, safety. It also gives you uh, two airbags in the front, which gives you the passive safety that is needed in the unfortunate event of a crash. Combined with that are the infotainment system, which is a five-inch uh, standard uh, infotainment system by Harman, and a music system to go by uh, with eight speakers, which gives you, uh, once again, the oral experience, which is uncomparable in this uh, in a class of vehicles. Uh, for the comfort and convenience, we have the tilt-adjusted steering and with mounted controls. And we also have, for the ergonomy of the uh, driver, the height-adjustable seats which come as a standard in these cars. So what is the result of all these things that we put in? We have named the Tiago JTP as swift and furious, pun intended. What do we get from that? We get 114 PS of 
throbbing horses at 5,000 RPM and a max torque of 150 Newton meter at 1,800 RPM and its flat torque band which goes all the way up to 4,500 RPM. You experience that when you put it in a third gear and you accelerate from 30 kph to 120 kph, you don't have to shift the gears and you've got power all the time backing you to negotiate those difficult traffic conditions, uphill, et cetera, et cetera, which all the performance drivers always wanted. Well, in comparison, I would say there are other competitors, and these are all uh, significant players in the market today. They pale into insignificance, I would say, when you drive these cars. Well, when you're moving fast, you also need to stop. And therefore, what we have done is we have specially worked with our tire manufacturers to compound the tires, which give us very good grip. The uh, physics of braking is not just limited to what you provide in the brake system, but ultimately the safety is between how good the grip is between the tire and the road. And the limiting factor is always the tire slip. And therefore, the tires have played a major important role in our dynamics of the car for giving the best cornering and best stopping distances, as is evidenced by the results that we have got on these cars. Tigor. Tigor has more or less the same safety systems. It has got a 3D navigation, and it's got a 5-inch touchscreen. And also, it comes with a rear parking assist with uh, rear view camera and ultrasonic sensors uh, uh, because of the uh, uh, car being longer and also uh, people uh, of this class of vehicles do have expressed that they need these uh, features in the car, therefore it's a standard in these cars. Well again, as I said, the Tigor is speed beyond your desire, again pun intended. And the performance remains the same, but if you look at the performance of the other models, which are again very respectable models of their own, in their own standing, it pales into insignificance in terms of both spec as well as how it performs on the road. And as I said, that acceleration, these are the kind of time that you get compared to the others when you are actually running the cars on the road. Once again, the braking performance of Tigor, it is the best in class. So gentlemen, having seen what it is, I'm sorry, the ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of ladies here, and it's also meant for the ladies, it's not for the gentlemen.
So obviously it's now time for the prize announcement and I now request the CEO of JTSB to announce the prize. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of reckoning Thank for you. all of us. You have seen the beauties and the winners are let the ball roll. Well, here we are. The most desirable driving performance cars on the road in India. Coming at only 6 lakh 99,000 rupees for the Tiago JTP and 7 lakh 49,000 rupees for Tigor JTP X Showroom Delhi. And you pay this price only for all the things that we talked about class leading power and torque, extraordinary driving dynamics, unbeatable safety, and undiluted joy of motoring. Three cheers! And for those, for those of you who are from Coimbatore, which most of you are, let me also introduce the price in Coimbatore, ex showroom. There we are. Six lakh forty three thousand three hundred and twenty two for the Tiago JDB and seven lakh fifty eight thousand sixty rupees for Tigor JDP. Let the bookings start. Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's the end, uh, but it's just the beginning for JTSV. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. There's high tea waiting for all the guests outside. Uh, we're not going to take any uh, Q&A for Tata Motors uh, as we're in the silent period. So please forgive us for not having a Q&A session. But uh, our dignitaries are very much present here in case you want to kind of engage with them. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Please enjoy the day. I'm just going to request the TV uh, reporters to come ahead. Mr. Mayang Parikh will be present here. But before that, sorry, just hold, just do a group picture.